We'll guide you through how to fix the PlayStation Network sign-in failed error. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get into this. So firstly, we're gonna go and head to our settings. So head to the top right and open our settings, and then go down to network, and in network, click on connection status, and click on view PlayStation Network status. Click here, and you want to make sure all of these are operational. If any of them are down, this could be a reason why you can't sign in, and to go and fix that, you're literally just going to go and have to wait for PlayStation to go and fix the problem. But if all of these are active, just like mine are, then let's get into the next fix. For the next fix, just come back to your main settings, and then you want to go down to system, click on system software, and go down to system software update and settings like this, and where it says update system software, if there is an update available, go and do it. As you can see, if I click here, mine's up to date, but if you've got an available one, then go and do it. After you've done the update, then go and see if you can then sign into the PlayStation Network. If you didn't have an update available or it didn't fix your problem, then for the next fix, what you want to do is go back to your settings and go into users and accounts and then go down to delete users. So what we can do is try and delete the user from our PS5 and then re-add it. This isn't ideal because when we try and delete a user, as you can see, their saved data, screenshots and video clips will be deleted. So you may want to try and back them up, but I don't mind because I haven't really got any content on here. So I'll go and press yes. And I just went and deleted that user. I had to turn off console sharing. And then what we can do is go and re-add the user. So I can then press add user. I can press on add a user to this PS5. I've read this before, I agree to it. And then I will sign in manually and I'll sign in now. And then go and see if you're able to log in. If that works, then great. If that didn't work for you, then next you want to go into your settings and then you want to go and click on network and then go and click on settings and click on set up internet connection. And what you want to do is select the network you're currently on and press the uh, options button on your remote on the right. And then you want to go and change the Wi-Fi frequency bands. Try setting it to 5 gigahertz and then 2.4. And when you select the different band, it will then go and reconnect you to the network and just make sure that it is working. After you've tried changing a frequency band, then try and sign in and, and see if it works. If it worked, then great. If it didn't, don't worry, try a different band. And if all the bands don't work, then go and click on the network again. And you want to go and click on advanced settings. And in here, you want to go down to DNS settings and we can set these to manual. So for the primary DNS, you want to type in 1.1.1 and then finally 0.1 and then you can click on done. And then for secondary DNS, you want to type in 1.0.0.1 like that. So this is just a different manual DNS server and sometimes this can fix your problem. So click OK and then try connecting to it. If this one didn't work for you, then we can also try a different DNS as well, but it probably is worth trying to sign into the PlayStation Network and see if this first one fixes your problem. So see if it does. Another DNS you can try, and this is for the primary one, is 8.8.8.8, like that. Then tap on done. And then for the secondary, 8.8.4.4, like that. Then click on done and then click OK. Uh, and it's gonna reconnect and then try and sign in to the PlayStation Network. If none of these fixes still haven't worked, then what I recommend you do is try signing in onto the PlayStation app on your phone. So if you haven't got the PlayStation app, just open up the App Store or the Google Play Store, whatever, whatever store you've got, and search for PS app or PlayStation app, download it and try signing in. Because I've researched that sometimes when you sign in on that, there's actually a new terms of service which will pop up when you sign in on the app, which you can agree to. That's what fixed some people's problems, is worth trying that. So I do hope one of the methods in this video did work for you. If they did, please go down below and leave a like.